Greetings to you all and uh, welcome back to another astrology video of mine. Uh, this is uh, Sean Van Deveen and uh, in this video I'm going to be uh, discussing the uh, natal planetary placement of Saturn in Capricorn. Now uh, what does this uh, planetary placement entail? Well on the one hand you have uh, the planet Saturn which uh, represents responsibility, the uh, fatherly figure, uh, limitations and uh, what one needs to uh, learn in order to uh, grow and mature and on the other hand you have the uh, zodiac sign of uh, Capricorn it's a cardinal earth sign and it represents uh, success ambition um, achievement and uh, big business so um, when you have these uh, energies uh, synergize together, you'll um, have uh, an individual who um, is uh, very uh, resourceful and will do whatever it takes to uh, succeed in life and make something of themselves. Uh, Saturn is uh, at home in the sign of Capricorn because Saturn rules Capricorn. Uh, therefore, um, one uh, will uh, be uh, determined to uh, succeed, whatever it takes. Um, they will have a great ambition to uh, make something of themselves. Um, it's a uh, sort of a rags to riches uh, kind of a story for these uh, people. Um, regardless of uh, whether or not if they were born into uh, a wealthy family or not, uh, Saturn and Capricorn uh, will, people will still uh, have the uh, drive and determination to uh, succeed in which uh, endeavor they uh, undertake, especially after the uh, age of 30, after uh, the, uh, their first Saturn return. It takes uh, roughly uh, 29 years for uh, Saturn to uh, revolve around the sun. And uh, when it reaches the um, identical point in one's natal chart at... Uh, by the time they reach uh, 29 years old, uh, that is called a uh, Saturn return. And that is where uh, one needs to uh, stop and uh, reevaluate re um, how their uh, life is progressing and uh, make any necessary uh, changes in uh, order to uh, grow even further and uh, mature into um, full adulthood. So, um, Therefore, Saturn in Capricorn has a uh, very uh, mature element. It's probably one of one of the most uh, mature uh, placements in uh, all of astrology um, for uh, any uh, individual. Um, this is a very uh, this is a very excellent uh, place for uh, Saturn to be in because um, these. Uh, Natives are uh, bestowed with uh, more maturity and um, ambition, and um, they're able to uh, climb up the uh, corporate ladder uh, more uh, easily than um, other uh, people. I mean, uh, it shouldn't, well, I should uh, rephrase that. It's not uh, going to be uh, easy. Uh, for these people, uh, there will be uh, many goals, many uh, challenges uh, awaiting them. Uh, they uh, can possibly uh, face much uh, opposition in uh, whatever it is that they're trying to pursue. Um, Saturn uh, also has um, has a uh, link to the uh, native's father. Uh, Saturn can uh, rule the uh, father figure. So therefore, uh, Saturn Capricorn people probably had a father who was uh, very strict with them, uh, probably uh, taught them how to um, be uh, independent and resourceful and work hard and uh, do whatever it takes to become uh, successful and wealthy. Um, often uh, these people aspire to become the uh, CEO or uh, president of a major uh, corporation or um, even a country. I'll uh, use the uh, example of Barack Obama, the uh, former US president. He uh, 
was born with Saturn placed in Capricorn, and um, he uh, faced uh, many struggles uh, trying to um, get to the top. Um, it certainly uh, wasn't easy for him, I could imagine. Um, but nevertheless, uh, he uh, was able to uh, get a law degree, um, get elected as a, a junior senator, and um, when he uh, delivered that uh, speech uh, at the 2004 uh, Democratic National Convention, um, that uh, inspired many uh, Democrats to uh, elect him as uh, president. And sure enough, he uh, became the uh, head of state of the United States for a full two terms. And yeah, people um, with this uh, natal aspect, um, they're uh, very much into uh, business and uh, commerce and they have the utmost respect for the law. Even though they are very ambitious, they uh, will do it uh, according to uh, what is legal. Um, they uh, are very uh, strict and uh, adhere to um, any uh, principles that have been tried, tested, and true. So um, they all can be a very uh, conservative in uh, their outlook on life. Um, they're more bound to uh, tradition uh, as opposed to uh, some other uh, Saturn placements, such as Saturn in Aquarius, uh, or um, I would say Saturn in Taurus. Well, excuse me, Saturn in Taurus, uh, that's, individuals can be very conservative there too, but um, what, I'm, what I'm trying to uh, communicate is that um, Saturn and Capricorn people are uh, very uh, conservative and uh, they uh, tend to uh, follow the rules in uh, order to uh, succeed in life. Um, once uh, they have uh, achieved uh, that success, um, Saturn and Capricorn people will do whatever it takes to uh, stay at the top. Uh, Saturn is a planet that uh, all, also represents fear. And uh, Saturn and Capricorn people uh, are very fearful of uh, those who uh, are in a positions above them. That's why they want to uh, work all the way to the top to uh, be the uh, president and uh, CEO. Yes, so um, as well, I should uh, mention that um, the 10th uh, house in a, a natal uh, astrology chart that is also ruled by uh, Capricorn. And when Saturn is placed in the uh, 10th house, it's a very uh, similar energy to uh, that of uh, Saturn in Capricorn. In my opinion, the uh, tarot card that best represents the uh, Saturn in Capricorn energy is that of the 10 of Pentacles. As uh, you can see here, uh, you can see uh, an elderly man uh, living comfortably in wealth, and um, he uh, has a couple of adoring uh, dogs um, paying attention to him. And these are probably uh, his children. And um, he's living in lavish surroundings. And um, this is what uh, Saturn and Capricorn people ultimately uh, aspire to. Uh, by the time they retire, they want to have um, a vast fortune. Uh, they want to live in luxury. And they want to uh, feel very secure. And um, you could also say that uh, Saturn and Capricorn people uh, are old when they are young and young when they are old. Um, th throughout um, their early lives, um, they're uh, burdened with uh, heavy responsibilities and uh, they uh, take education so seriously that um, they... Uh, need um, that level of a security in order for them to um, graduate high school and then through, through into university and uh, rise uh, up the uh, ranks of the uh, corporate ladder to eventually become uh, 
the CEO or the president. And um, yes, um, the Ten of Pentacles. I really uh, like this card because of the uh, symbolism of wealth and uh, security and um, just uh, living a good life. But um, as a, a cautionary a message to uh, those born with Saturn and Capricorn, once you have achieved that uh, fame, that success, and all that wealth, um, use it to um, benefit those uh, who are less fortunate around you. Um, I would encourage uh, any one of you to um, share your wealth and uh, wisdom. And um, I, fi I find uh, that if Saturn and Capricorn people are not uh, careful, they can um, forsake um, morals, uh, laws, just uh, for the sake of personal ambition, which uh, will have, which will bear heavy uh, karmic energy. And um, if uh, Saturn and Capricorn people uh, are uh, only interested in ambition, then uh, they can ignore. Um, family values and um, higher uh, morals, higher principles, and this could, uh, these could uh, inevitably lead to their downfall. So um, I would advise not to be um, ambitious uh, just uh, for your own personal sake, but um, use that uh, wisdom that you've gained to um, teach uh, others what you know and um, share the uh, wealth and the wisdom, and um, ultimately you will uh, reach uh, self-fulfillment. So um, this has been my uh, take on the uh, natal uh, Saturn in uh, Capricorn energy. Um, last time uh, Saturn was in Capricorn uh, was uh, between the uh, time frame of December 2017 and uh, December of 2020, and um, I think uh, the next time uh, Saturn will re-enter Capricorn will be in, in 2047. I do uh, hope that you found this uh, video to be uh, helpful and insightful. Uh, my name is Sean Van Deveen. I do want to thank you for watching, and uh, I would just like to close by saying um, peace, much love, and namaste. Uh, please like and uh, subscribe to my uh, channel. I uh, do um, appreciate all the uh, support that um, you've all been giving me so far. And um, I do uh, thank you for um, helping me out. Um, I do, um, once again, thank you. And um, God bless you. And um, have a wonderful day wherever you are. Stay safe and uh, be kind to one another. Thank you.